everyone, welcome back to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. Today's video is gonna focus on psychotic lab workflow. As you can see the topology, I installed a psychotic secret server integrated with my domain and I do have another Windows 7 workstation as a client. They are in the same network. This is my psychotic secret server. Uh, in today's video, uh, I'm just going to show you one important feature workflow. As you can see, there's a workflow menu here, workflows menu. Um, we don't need it. We don't have to enable it or this is a feature built in and already enabled. So let's take a look one of our account. So we're going to use in v10 admin2 this account as an example. You can go to security tab. Workflow related uh, settings can be configured from secret level or secret policy level. Let's start with testing with secret level. You can see the checkout. You can add it. So basically, if you want to use this account, you need to require checkout. Then you need to check this button. And how long it can be checked out? Default 30 minutes, but you can configure the length as you want. And you also can enforce once you change the password on check-in, you can enforce that. But remember that this feature requires prerequisite, which is if you want to enable this feature, this is a very useful feature. Each time when people use it, when they need to check in, the password can be changed. If you want to enable that, you need to go to remote password changing. You need to enable password check on, check in. Enable password changing on check in. You need to enable that to get that feature. Let's do that. You need to have this to be checked first. Enable remote password changing and enable password changing on check-in. Save it. That's only prerequisite for workflow feature. Only thing, only you need to enable that one. Let's go back to our V10 admin2 security. So now we require checkout and also we require change password on checking. Right now we can check this because we enabled that prerequisite. Save. So you see, if we want to use this account, even add it, then require checkout right away require checkout okay checkout required so we have 30 minutes after 30 minutes if you didn't check in then it system will automatically kick you out and check in this pass check in this account and also change the password we go back here let's finish configuration a couple of others so this approval to use this account you also can require approval from certain person for example I want to require anybody non owners non approvers they need approval from a person so then we need to kick in uh, approval workflow there's a um, single layer workflow there's a multi-layer workflow using workflow designer which is you can see this is workflows this is the place you define multi-tier workflows but single level is Good enough for us. Um, approvals, and then we need to add approvals. So we're gonna add a user called a test2. So automatically search for you, and then you check it, and then it became approval. 
best practice always mo add multiple ones. So, but here as an example, I just put one person here. Save it. It's good. And the uh, next thing we're gonna talk about is the require comment. So you can enable that basically um, to use this account. The system wants you to say reason. What's the reason why you need to use this account? That's it. So we enabled checkout, enabled approval, enabled the uh, comment for return admin to this account. So right now we're going to log out. We log in as test one and uh, try to use that account. Return admin two. Okay, now approval process coming in first. Before you can do comment, before you can do checkout, you need approval. So request access. So here, 30 minutes reason. Submit request. Your request was sent out. Great. Log out. Log in. We put test two as approval, so we need to log in as test two to approve it. Test two logged in. You can see in the inbox menu there's a red dot here. Let me show something. You need to attention. Um, so. Basically, we got a request access. Reason for request is test. It's for a secret test two, uh, ten, V10 admin two. It's for user test one. And okay, so approve. Approve it. Log out. Log back in with test one to see what's going on. So let's try to use v10 admin2 again. We still cannot use it. Reason why? Because NetSec has checked out this machine, this account for 30 minutes. It's not expired yet. You cannot kick it out. So what we can do is we can go back to NetSec and check in this account. Or you have to wait 30 minutes. That's a local account, so we're logging in that sec. Admin two. So we need to use it, and there's a comment. We need to require comment on it. We put something, so checking account. Then we can use it. Check in. Great. Account checked in. Don't forget. We enabled and the comment first. This is admin account is which is owner for this, so it doesn't need approval. I just want to show you the password changing part. Show that. So this is the password right now. I'm gonna paste it here. So you can compare it once we checked in again. Check in. So now we can log out, log in with check test one. This is domain account. Before we can use it, there's a comment required. Let's check out secret. Great. Now we can use it. There's one thing I want to show you before 
Let's check logged out. The password is supposed to be changed. Let's see if the password has been changed. See this password right now is different from last time we saw from the sec. It's ultimately each time when you change it, it's automatically rotated the password. So for example, NetSec used it, then he knows password, of course, and the second person check it out, the password already been changed. So the password will never be reused again. So now we can do whatever we need to do, launch the remote session, for example, we go to our domain controller. Now it's logged in. We can take a look. That count we're using logged in for this machine. IP, what's the name? Who am I? It's a V10 admitter. Oh, we can check in. So we checked in. If we want to use again, let's end the command. We don't need approval because it's still in 30 minutes. The approver already gave us 30 minutes, it approved our request for 30 minutes to use. In 30 minutes, if we want to use it again, we don't have to request it again. But the password will be changed. Each time when we do check in, the password will be changed. If you require multiple, tier approver, then you will need to design your approval process from workflows menu. That you can find out from workflows. So right now we didn't define anything yet, but you can try to multi-tier workflow, try to define one, create workflows. So step one, and then you can try to step two one you can add a step insert a step step two and you can delete the step so that's everything i would like to show you today for workflow in psychotic secret server thank you for watching <laughs>